It sounds as though contract negotiations with Serge Gnabry have been progressing over the past weeks. Let's get right into it. Welcome to Talking Bayern, the one-stop shop for Bayern Munich content on YouTube. Today we'll be discussing Serge Gnabry's possible extension at Bayern and kind of the details surrounding it. So, we got a tweet from I, Mia Samia earlier this month that Serge Gnabry is expected to extend his contract beyond 2023. That is what he's currently I'm signed until, and Bayern have offered 15 million euros a year, uh, but the player is demanding a bit more. Nevertheless, an agreement is very likely to be reached, and this was reported by Sport Builds, Toby Alt Schaffel. So this is a very reliable source, and it sounds like we're offering him 15 million euros a year. Um, obviously, we were giving Kingsley Coman a bit more, which is weird to me because I think Serge Gnabry is a far better player than Kingsley Coman. I mean... The thing about Serge Gnabry is he's so inconsistent. I mean, there was that game not too long ago where he got, I think, like four goal contributions um, just in December, and obviously an astounding game for him. But still, like, there's these games. Um, the past few games, I've realized he hasn't really done a whole lot. I mean, he scored last game, but still, um, I just think he can kind of go quiet in certain games, and we need something that's consistent. Um, I know Leroy Son is probably our most consistent player right now. He's always doing well. Uh, Kingsley Coman, we just re-signed him. You know, Leroy Sané is signed for a long time, um, as well as Musiala. So, you know, our wingers were signed for a long time, except for Nabry. You know, Nabry's only signed until 2023. Um, I'd like to see him extended until, like, 2025, 2026. But we'll see what happens. It sounds like he wants more than 15 million euros. I think, you know, we should be giving him between, you know, probably 15 and 18. I don't see him getting any more than that um, and until he can really... You know, find him some more consistency, but I don't know. I just think we gave Coman a little bit too much, in my opinion, which is kind of going to change Navri's negotiations because really, I think Navri's a better player than Coman. The stats clearly show that he has a much better goal contribution rate for Bayern, and far, far better. I you know said that in my last video with Coman, but still, it'll be interesting to see what happens. I really don't want us to lose Navri. Obviously, that's a long ways away. Um, you know, over a year until that would happen, you know, about a year and a half. He's currently valued at about 69 million euros, so definitely a very valuable player for us. You know, he's 26 years old, so entering his prime, so we expect him to be at the best he's ever been right now. Obviously, he had the incredible Champions League run with us and did, I think, he got like 10 goals that campaign. So he's obviously a very, very talented player for us. Um, he's been at Bayern um, since 2017. So I really, really like him to be a part of our future and be part of that, you know, core of wingers with Musiala, um, Sané, and Komen. But we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen here. I, If I was him, I'd want more than Kingsley Komen. Um, I'd want a good amount more. I mean, he's better than Komen, in my opinion. Sure, he's less, maybe he's not the most consistent player of all time, but he's better than Komen, and the stats clearly show it. Um, yeah, I think he's less than Sané for sure, but somewhere in the middle there. And that's going to be a lot for us, and that's going to really change, um, I think, who we're able to sign this summer. They're going to know that Navri wants a lot of money. And, you know, with Sue leaving, the transfers are kind of going crazy right now. We'll see who we sign. We definitely need to sign a defender. We can't not sign a defender in the coming months. So, you know, depending on how much we splash on him, that might change if we're willing to, you know, give Navri the money he wants. If we sign somebody like Delit, you know, it's going to be a high wage and a high transfer fee. So maybe Navri has a hard time in negotiations. Maybe we pick someone up like Ginter, which isn't as great, but then we have more money to sign Navri. It's, it's really going to be interesting in the next few months. I do think, you know, Nabry will resign. I think that we're going to see a transfer. Um, I think that we will see him resign before the summer and kind of solidify us and, you know, not to get too stressful about whether we're going to lose him or not. But, you know, he's key for Germany. He's key for Bayern. I really want to see him because I think he's a great player. You know, he has 20 goals for Germany in just 31 appearances. So clearly he's an important player for both teams. I think it's great having, you know, Germans on our team as well that are playing for the national team. Not that, you know, I don't, you know, for example, Alfonso Davies, I mean, I love having a guy like that on our team, but it's just cool having a player on the German national team and on Bayern. And I think, um, you know, the Bayern executives have said many times that they actually appreciate that too. So it's definitely an important um, aspect for them to have, you know, top Bayern players playing at the national level. So we'll see. I think Nabry is an absolute lock to play in the national team. So I think, you know, he's definitely something we're really going to want to resign here. And I think we will see something in the next few months. Hopefully we do resign him and it doesn't get too stressful. But I would want to know your thoughts in the comments below. How much do you think Serge Gnabry is worth? You know, how long would you like to resign him for? Um, so let me know in the comments below. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more Bayern Munich content like this in the future, please subscribe to this channel. Hope you see you on the next one. Until then, Mia and Mia.